Hello everyone. In this video, I'm gonna give a brief introduction to SUI Move Analyzer. So the first thing we need to do when we want to use it is to install it. Um, you want to fire up your Visual Studio Code and uh, go to the extensions and uh, search for SUI-MOVE-ANALYZER. Yeah, and this is the plugin you want to use, developed by MoveBit. And um, if you look at it, it has very detailed um, instruction of how to install and use it. So the first thing um, is to install the three uh, move analyzer language server. So um, there are two ways to do it. You can either clone the move repository yourself and um, build it from source, uh, or you can just use Cargo, which is a Rust package manager and uh, it will handle all the cloning and um, install installation things for you. Um, so here I, I have chosen the, 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 the second way because it's much easier and automated. So let me show you the terminal. So basically I pasted this command here um, and uh, it will download a bunch of Rust packages and then compile the source code inside those packages. And once you successfully um, installed it, you can see that inside this path, um, home directory, cargo, bin, you can see that there's a executable move analyzer. Uh, it means you have um, successfully installed it. Um, one tip is that if you fail to do so, um, be sure to um, update your rust tool chain yeah so here is here is the version um i am using um you be sure to update update keep it up to date so that you can always um compile it successfully okay so after we got it installed got the language server installed we go to vs code again and you would see a install button. Since I have installed it, so this is uninstall. So hit that and uh, you are ready to go. <clears throat> yeah. So the next thing um, is show you the functionalities. The first thing is um, jump definition. So I opened a demo project from official three repository. Um, it, has a few files. I open this counter.move file. So let me show you, for example, if I want to see the definition of three transfer, this is a module, right? So if I right click it and click go to definition, yeah, we can see that we are here. The definition of transfer inside transfer.move file, right? And um, for variables, for example, if I want to check the definition of this variable ctx, I can do that as well. Um, here, the definition and the use is very close, so we probably don't think it's super helpful, but once the, all the definition, all the functions gets longer and complicated, you would find that to be super helpful. We can also do that with um, struct fields, for example, um, counter variable, this uh, counter has a field value, where, where is it defined? We can do that. Yeah, we go to, we went here. And um, we can also do that with specs. For example, um, every spec is associated with some um, function or um, struct or something. Um, so if I right click it and go to definition, we can see it is associated with this function. So this is a spec of this function, right? And um, we can also do that with schema. So here it includes a simple uh, spec schema. So if I want to check its definition, I can right click it and go to definition. Yeah, so of course you can also um, do that with your uh, keyboard shortcuts. For example, simply press F12 or just um, um, use some win binding or Emacs binding if you are a big fan of them. Yeah, so that is uh, much faster. So with with all the jump to 
functionalities, we can check the definition of um, a lot of things we are dealing with easily. So that would be helper, super helpful. The next thing is um, we added support of um, a lot of ho hovering information. Uh, for example, um, uh, we have a built-in spec function that is old. If I put my cursor, hover, hover it here, we can see that it shows, it pops up a small window with its, um, its documentation of how to use it, right? Uh, we can also do that with custom functions. For example, um, here we have a sender function. So if we hover the mouse cursor here, we can see its um, function signature easily. Yeah, so this would help us to get to know the 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 the, the thing, the code better, right? And uh, the other thing super cool is auto completion. For example, we can do this with modules. <clears throat> if we I want to, um, for example, import some uh, other module, we can see once I typed the S, it just pops up STD and suite. And uh, I type colon, colon. Um, there will be a, a very long list of what I can choose from, right? Yeah, so this is very cool. Um, and we can do that with variables and fields as well. For example, if this, this is a context here, if I type C, it would pop up. If I chose it and uh, hit dot, hit dot we can see it has four fields, right? Uh, this is um, for variables and fields. We can do that with types as well. For example, if I delete this and um, um, just um, type T, we can see that this is a type or something else, for example. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's uh, keep it in the original way. Um, the other thing is we can um, do uh, integrated unit testing inside the editor. So we don't, don't have to switch back from um, editor and terminals uh, again and again. For example, um, I have a test function. I can just uh, click run test. See, it is gets, it gets run in the terminal and everything is fine, right? So this is very helpful if you want to do a lot of uh, unit testing. We can also um, create three init function with the help of this plugin, for example, um, because um, I don't want to type a lot. So I can just type init and hit tap. So you can see there is a complete definition of a init function, right? So we can work from, from, from here with a prototype. <clears throat> and um, we, we can also create other um, uh, three projects, like template project. Uh, for example, I, I, I hit um, Control Shift P and I type create suite project. We can see this is here. And uh, once we select it, it pops up a dialog asking the path of the project. Let's say uh, we call it sample project and click OK. So we can see that uh, sample project um, is, up here, is created at here, right? So it, it's a source file contains some um, um, struct and functions, and you can you can um, change it accordingly. Yeah, and um, <clears throat> we can also work with multiple projects. For example, just as this example, like this is example, we we opened the project basics here, but we also have another project, sample project here, right? So 
all the features I have mentioned, for example, uh, hover information and um, jump to um, all, all the other things here, um, just uh, work as well, right? And um, uh, I have there. Are, there are also many functionalities for you to discover yourself. Just uh, um, hit the command palette and uh, uh, type um, type move analyzer. We can see that a lot of uh, commonly used functionalities are integrated uh, in this plugin, so you can use it uh, easily. Yeah, that is pretty much all the demonstrations. Thank you.